How do you tell Mikey and Mia apart? How can you tell Mikey and Mia apart? Is there specific things? Or can you just tell? It's been two years of watching your videos and I can still rarely tell Mikey and Mia apart. I feel so bad. Can you help me? Well, yes I can. Today's topic, boys and girls, we are gonna cover in absolute detail the differences between these two beauties over here. Let's get into it. Now, boys and girls, this is a question that we do get asked nearly every single day. And every single day, I go through and put down a detailed response just for you guys to help you. But you know what? We have made 23 videos with Mikey. We have made 33 with Mia. We have made merch with lines, with descriptions that describe their differences. And you guys still seem to be very confused. So let's talk this out, shall we? Now, I'm not saying all of you guys are asking us. I know there is a bunch of crazy bird people out there who own birds, who really know birds, who know these guys through and through, from front to back. Then there's also the normal people, the smart ones, who didn't choose to invest their whole lives into birds and get trapped forever. They're still having a little bit of trouble. So this video should clear a few things up. Now to us, they are completely different birds. They look completely different, they act completely different, they feel completely different. There is no comparison. Now before we start highlighting everything you guys need to know about these guys, we just want to let you guys know this video is actually brought to you by Ridge Wallet. It's light, it's sleek, it's industrial, it doesn't fold or bulge in your back pocket. I honestly used to think my wallet was small like this, which is tiny, but now I've switched to the Ridge. This thing is literally even smaller. Now these things here hold up to 12 cards, including cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including burnt titanium and carbon fiber. They come with a lifetime warranty as well. So literally this is going to last you your life. And you get a 45 day trial. So if you're not happy, you can just send it back. They are super easy to use. Just literally card out, card in, quickest thing ever. They have IDF blocking technology. And honestly, it's like a wallet from the future. So thank you very much, Rich, for sponsoring this video. If you want your own, get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns at ridge.com slash Mikey the McCaw. That's ridge.com slash Mikey the McCaw and use code Mikey the McCaw. Now let's get into these differences, shall we? Firstly, the easy one, the eyes. You guys have to look at their eyes. Most McCaws and probably most other birds. I'm not too knowledgeable on other birds, but the older they get, the lighter their eyes get. Baby McCaws are born with very, very dark eyes. Now Mia's eyes are a lot darker than Mikey. She is two years younger, but Mikey's always had crazy eyes since we've had him. He is a dead giveaway just with those eyes alone. I mean, compared to all the other McCaws in our flight group, in our friend circle of birds, his eyes are probably the craziest. It's like he's on crack, continuously partying, and he never sleeps. Yes, you have very crazy eyes, don't you? Either way, look at the eyes. Now, it's not only the eye color, it's the eye shape as well. Now, Mia's eyes are actually a bit more almond shaped than Mikey's. Mikey's are very, very round, very bold. Mia's are a bit more gentle. I'm not sure why that is. I guess it's how kind of humans have different eye shapes, I guess. They're just different. Now, a couple of centimeters below the eyes, there are these beautiful, beautiful lines on their face. Now, these lines, believe it or not, are a very, very similar principle to the human fingerprint. What they basically do is distinguish macaw by macaw by macaw. No macaw will have the exact same face feather line markings. I'm not sure if there is a word for this, but for the sake of this video, let's call them face feather line markings, shall we? Cool. If you look at Mikey, again, one of the more rare macaws I have seen with only two predominant face line feather markings on his face, where Mia has three, which most macaws usually do. Uh, hers are also a whole lot thicker, and they are very, very easy to differentiate between the two just by looking at those eyes and those face markings, which I know a lot of you guys do out there. Next up, we have their beaks. Now, if you look at Mia's beak, it is a normal kind of size beak. Yeah, you don't want to be on me, do you? Um, Mikey's beak is pretty large for a macaw. Now, many people do say, are you going to trim it? Is it too long? What are you doing with his ridiculously long beak? Now, it's not to a point where we need to trim it, trust me. We have checked out with Avian Vets about this. They said, yeah, it is big for a captive macaw. In the wild, their beaks get very, very long, but they do need their long beaks in the wild so they can obviously climb on stuff and, you know, 
dig out trees to sleep in and stuff like that. Mikey doesn't need to beat this long, but it's not really bothering him. And if it does get a bit out of control, of course we are going to take care of it. But because these guys are free flighted birds, they are outside most days playing in trees. They're filing their beaks down on wood. They're rubbing them on pavements and stuff like that. They do a pretty good job of grooming themselves, but Mikey's beak is considerably larger than Mia's, and that is another way to tell them apart. Now, while we're on the head, let's chat about the head. Now, Mia even has a different head shape. It's kind of longer than Mikey's. Imagine like an oval versus a circle. Not obviously to that extreme because their heads aren't perfectly oval or circled, but her head is definitely on a longer spectrum than Mikey. Now, as we move down from the head to the neck, we have the chest. Now, Mia's chest, as most of you do know, is very, very different, not only to Mikey's, but to most other macaws. Most macaws have these lovely feathers that just go straight down. They're nice and tidy. It's like someone took a brush and went like this, and it just worked, kind of like a good hair day every day. When Mia's chest kind of looks like she's wearing one of those shirts, a big ruffly bits, and they kind of poof out all from here to here. I don't know what those shirts are called. If someone knows, please let me know in the comments. But either way, that's what her chest looks like. The way her feathers grow, instead of growing down like every other Morkor I have seen in my life, they come down to about her crop, maybe just a little bit under, and there is a lot of them there. It's like a big puff out of feathers, and they just split. It's like someone took a comb and just kind of parted them somehow. But that is a huge, huge giveaway with Mia, that puffy, puffy ruffle of a chest. And before I do forget, right above that chest, there is all those beautiful green feathers. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of blue throat macaws. Now, this is another level of it, but a blue throat macaw has blue all around their throat. Where with Mia, she's got a lot of bluey green right under her neck. Now, some macaws have this. Mikey doesn't have much of it at all. Most macaws don't have a lot of it. Mia's is considerably more to a point where someone actually asked us one day, is that blue dye under her neck? It was a bit strange, but you know, it's not a normal thing. And as we move into the tail, another very, very unique thing about Sweet Mia. She has, I think, two, maybe one, two, two feathers with a decent amount of green on her tail. Now, again, not a very, very common thing, if not known at all for Blue and Gold macaws, to have even any green on their tails. But Mia has a beautiful, even somewhat floral light green, and it is just stunning. And from behind, if we see them both perched and they're not even facing us, we can be like, Hey look, there's Mia with that little bit of green on her tail. Now while we're on the tail, let's talk about the shape of the tail. Now the shape of their tail will always change, just for the fact they are always dropping feathers. So if they drop one, you know, one day it may look like a V at the end, and the other day it may be like a point. So it's just one of those things in the end of the day. They definitely do have different shaped tails, but it does vary from point to point. So that's not an easy one, but when they are both fully feathered, Mia's tail will usually point into a V, where Mikey's is a beautiful straight V. Now let's move up to their feet. Now at all times I know which bird is on me with my eyes closed or not just from the feeling of their feet. This is quite a hard thing to pick up on video but Mia's feet are a lot skinnier and a lot more kind of bony. It's a weird weird feeling when she sits on you. She's even got very like unsettled footing where if you ask her to step up she'll kind of touch you a couple of times. Kind of like imagine Mia being like an old lady of some sort. I don't know, it's weird. Um, when Mikey is literally just this big chunky talon just grabbing you, decent firm grip, it's easy, it's fine. So that's how we can tell them apart when we ask them to step up. Even if they are landing on us, now this can be kind of tricky, but they do have different weights. They're about 100 grams lighter than each other. Mikey's 1100 grams, Mia is 995 grams. So just over 100 grams lighter, but the way they land is also quite different. Mikey over here is kind of like a brick. He kind of just hits you. He doesn't really care where the wind's coming from or anything like that. Where most birds will land beautifully into the wind, Mikey will just land wherever is most convenient for him and just deal with it. Where Mia is always going to kind of work her way around to get a beautiful, smooth, elegant landing. Now that might might not help you because you don't have my cameo landing on you too much, but that's how we tell them apart as well. Now, if we are getting a bit more technical into this video, how do you tell them apart in the sky? Now, Mia, when we got her, she was a clipped bird. Uh, I think whoever did clip her might have clipped one feather slightly too short and it has ruined the follicles. I'm not sure if that is the correct term when it comes to feathers, but one feather hasn't grown back in many, many years. When I say many, many years, she's only three. We've had her two years, so, you know. But she's always been missing, I think it's either her fourth or fifth feather on one of her wings. And every time they are both in the sky, we can clearly pick Mia out because of that. She also has a bit more of an elegant flying style. When Mikey kind of flies sometimes, like his life depends on it. He seems like he's quite unfit, 
by just looking at him, like he really puts a lot of effort into his flight, where Mia will always fly so effortlessly, it's so beautiful, and she even flies a whole lot longer. She loves to fly a whole lot more, maybe that is because of her past, because she was caged and clipped for a while, so now she's just making the most out of it, but she will always, always fly longer than Mikey, she'll always come to land last, and she's the first one to take off in big flight meetups, and loves flocking with any other bird. Or well, Mikey would rather hang out with the people and just be a bit more social. Now it's not only appearances that are different between them, it's the way they kind of hold themselves. Mia is always a bit more hunched, you know, like the Notre Dame kind of person, kind of like sitting like this, kind of like that. Where Mikey always literally sits very, very straight. He's got his shoulders back. He stands very, very strong. Mia is probably a stronger bird. She's learning to be ridiculously confident. She's the king of most birds now. Most bird meets we go to, she'll outfly everyone. And if anyone really pisses her off, she'll win in the fight, as you guys probably have seen in a few videos. But if you do see them both on a perch, Mikey is always, always going to be the taller one. And that's just not because he is a bigger bird in general with a bit more beef to him. Uh, it's just the, basically the way they do hold themselves. But anyway, I think that basically covers all the differences that are somewhat obvious between Mikey and Mia. And that basically wraps it up for their physical differences. Personality wise, it's literally night and day. It would take a much, much, much longer video to describe their full personalities in complete detail and how they differ. Maybe if you want to see that, pop it in the comments. We might make another video if you did enjoy this. But we must say goodbye. Before we do, honestly, I know a lot of you guys have been begging for a new My Kimi music video. Whoever was around when we used to make them, I think it was like maybe two or three years ago now, we have just made another one. We are shooting the video for a very very soon. It's literally the love story on how when Mia came into our lives to now when they're basically so bonded. It does have quite a bit of shooting to do so don't expect it for another couple of weeks but honestly once that thing is out hopefully you do enjoy it. So if you haven't subscribed definitely do. Click the bell so you get notified because I know a lot of you guys aren't getting notified recently and you're messaging us saying why haven't you uploaded a video in like seven months when well, we've really been doing our best. Hey we'll never be daily vloggers I'll give you that. Maybe once a week maybe once every two weeks. That's a bit more for now, stay tuned because we put out new videos every time they are ready. Yay! Oh, and one more thing before I do let you go. Mia has a camel toe. If you don't know what that is, I'm not telling you, but I'm sure someone in the comments will. I'll just leave you with this image. Bye-bye!